APC have denied the allegation that it brought police personnel from Abuja to block the assembly complex. In a statement on Thursday, Chairman of the APC Media Campaign Council in Edo, John Mayaki, explained that as a political party, the APC does not control the police. He, however, accused the Edo state government of carrying out several onslaughts, onslaughts against the constitutional independence of the legislative arm of government by attacking its members elect and denying them representation. We now also have Odiana Arieta, who is a lawyer and also an APC member, joining us to make sense of all of this conversation. Good to have you, Arieta. Do we have him on the line? Thank you. All right, you sounded a bit distant, but I hope you can hear me. And if you can, let's go straight into the matter. Is it clear, again, it's the same uh, conversation that we had uh, earlier on, we just had a PDP member. So the question for you again is, is it clear enough to conclude that the alleged impeachment of the Speaker of the Edo State House of Assembly is a nullity since it was done out of the Assembly complex? Well, it is, uh, it is uh, a bit difficult to say that it is illegal because in the first place, there was no House of Assembly in Edo State. Yes, we have the legal perspective to it, that is the constitutional perspective and the political perspective. And as a lawyer, I will stand on the legal perspective because if you look at the Constitution, which is the governor, by virtue of Section 91 and 96 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, can we rightly say that there was a legislative arm of government in the dossier from the outset? From the 17th, about 17th of June 2019, the executive governor of the dossier, His Excellency, purportedly issued later proclamation and out of 24 house members only nine were invited and the house was said to have been proclaimed that contradicts section 91 of the constitution because the official said the house must not be less than 24 and also not more than 40. if you look at all the states in the federation of nigeria no house is less than 24. So at the point of proclamation, invitations were issued to only nine persons. It means at the mission, there's no house of assembly in the mm -hmm. So coming back to your question, whether it was right for the 17 members of the House of Assembly, which is the majority, to have impeached an illegally constituted House of Assembly, which is over a year now. I think we will say that it's a case of illegality in the entirety. But for the fact that the majority are taking it upon themselves to do the needful. Let us look at the police supposed proactive move, you know, which PDP described as unwelcome and accused APC of being behind it. I mean, what do you say about all of this? One party is accusing the other. What's the true position, in your opinion? Well, right now, I think the position is a bit complex. Uh, both parties are accusing the police of complete issue. But the issue will be, what exactly is the role of the police? Very early hours of yesterday, the entire ring road, that is where the House of Assembly and those states is located, was condoned by the police. Over 30 police vehicles and all that. So at that point, I am sure there was this strong suspicion that something unusual was going to happen at the complex. Do not forget that before now, the government of Edo State has shut down the House of Assembly complex in the pretense of it being renovated. Whereas 
the nine members were ferried to the government house and they have been meeting all along until about two members out of that seven or so left them to join the majority. So they became about five in number out of 24. So what would find it difficult to blame the police if the police has to take charge of the complex to ensure that there's prevention of breach of peace? So if the PDP is accusing police of complicity, I think they are not right in doing that because from day one, they have been on the side of illegality. Mm. And still on that matter, legally speaking, how would you describe the governor and deputies governor's intervention? Is it out of place? Well, that is the arrogance of governance in Edo State. That is the illegality that has permitted the system in Edo State. They might look at it as bravery, but it can also the disposition of the governor and the deputy governor has not only been desperate, but in an attempt to untwist the system to suit their purpose. Mm -hmm. Some of us joined, you know, APC much later in the day, even as a PDP member. We knew from day one that what was happening in the government of a state, in respect of the legislative arm, was a complete illegality and a construction of the rule of law. So for us, what is playing at now must be viewed in line with the law. You asked me earlier whether it was right for the 70 or 19 members to have met outside the complex of the House of Assembly. You will also be in a position that the want to ask the governor, why did you close down the House of Assembly in the name of renovation and ferry the five, seven members to be meeting in one of the rooms in the government house? You can see that there's a complete breach of the constitution in respect of a third arm of government in a state. What ought to have happened exactly is for the National Assembly to take full charge of the legislative arm of government in Nigeria. Because from day one, there's no house. And this brings that me to my today, next question. What has happened is more of a properly constituted house than what it was over a year ago. Barry, and that leads to my next question, which, I mean, I mean, as a lawyer, if truly the complex needs fumigation and renovation, as they are claiming, what is the procedure for alternative legislative business? Or uh, they will have no option than to wait. Is that what it's supposed to be? I mean, uh, from the perspective of the law now. Yes, from the perspective of the law, if we recall the case of uh, Imako June against Adelity, as I decided the governor for your case was in peace. Well, it is a bit different because the Supreme Court makes a fantastic announcement that all legislative business ought to have been done in the hollow chamber of the House of Assembly. But the question now is, was the hollow chamber available for the majority of the House of Assembly to carry out the activity? The answer is no. And what the does is the role of the governor of the state who, in an attempt to incapacitate the legislative arm of government in the district, took the few or half few members of the House to be meeting in an extended uh, room or so in the government house. So if the majority of the House now met in a convenient place, having been able to muster the majority of the House, more than we thought now, so one can say, that the rightful thing is being done in a different way. Hmm. Lastly, before I let you go, Barista, in the light of all that is happening and all that you have explained, where do you see this leading to in Edo State? Well, I am as, as well as concerned as we sound because this is not what one can be proud of, whether as a lawyer or as a politician. I think what the government should do it will deploy more security in a dose. If election is few, a few weeks from now, election is on the 19th of September. 
and the arm said, is not taking it. The situation might degenerate. Because now, the Speaker of the House has made a trusty visit to the Director of uh, the Security Agency inside the DSS, Director of State Security, and also the Commissioner for Police. In other words, there is an implied recognition of the Speaker as a speaker today, as against the Speaker that is leading five people in the House of Assembly. So all this put together, I think the federal government, which is the security officer in the entire country, should step into it and ensure that there's no further breakdown of law and order in the state. All right. Legal practitioner, Diana Ereta, thank you so very much for your contributions and keep safe out there. Thank you very much. I appreciate for having me.